This is the dog tooth cat snake or the Boiga cynodon, a mildly venomous snake found throughout Southeast Asia. This is one of our many species of cat snakes in the Philippines. But why are they called dog tooth cat snakes? This snake belongs to a genus of cat snakes, which is known as Boiga or Boiga, however you want to pronounce it. All of the snakes in that genus are known to be cat snakes because they have eyes that are elliptical, elliptical pupils that look similar to those of cats. This species in particular is known as the dog tooth cat snake because it has large teeth on the front of its upper and lower jaws, similar to canines. You can see that this is a Boiga cynodon because it has an enlarged head, see that big head, and then it has that slender body. It has big eyes with elliptical pupils. When you look at the head, it also has that black marking beside its eye. It has black and brown bandings all throughout its brown body. These snakes are arboreal, that's why they have these slender bodies that help them easily climb up trees. They, so they will spend most of their time in trees and aside from that slender body, they also have really long tails which are strong enough to grip onto branches. They also feed mostly on animals or prey items that you also find in trees. So those include birds, they're also known to eat bird eggs, they will eat other reptiles like small lizards, and they also eat amphibians like frogs but they are indeed really beautiful snakes as you can see. This is not their biggest size yet. These guys can grow to about eight to nine feet. They don't get really, really huge, just like your reticulated pythons. But I've seen people mistake them for reticulated pythons because of their brown and black bandings. But as you can see, ibang iba siya. They look really different from your reticulated pythons. So when it comes to toxicity, these snakes are mildly venomous, meaning they do have venom, but their venom is especially made to kill their prey items. But they're not really considered medically significant or enough to kill a human unless we have an allergic reaction. Similar to bees, the most severe cases would be developing an allergic reaction that would lead to anaphylactic shock. Uh, but unless you're one of those rare cases, these snakes are essentially harmless to you, especially if you don't provoke them. If you just leave them alone, they will not do anything to you. They won't try to bite you. They won't even try to go near you. And even if you do get bitten, not every bite results in envenomation because they are rear fanged snakes, meaning that the fangs that they use to inject venom are on the back of their mouth. So they would actually have to chew on you real hard before they could get to their fangs on the back and actually inject that venom into your system. I've been bitten by this many times. Kailangan kanyang muyain para lang ma-inject niya yung venom sa katawan mo. So that is how rear-fanged venomous snakes work. These guys are very important to our forest ecosystems because they have a variety of prey that they eat, therefore a variety of animal populations they can balance. I don't want to call all of them docile, but of course it always takes the proper body language when you are working with these animals. Some of them have known to be a little bit more defensive than others. Some of them I've experienced were more docile than others. So again, unless you try to provoke them to bite you or unless you have an allergic reaction, these guys are essentially harmless and should definitely be left alone. There is no reason for us to kill them because they are very important to our forest ecosystems. So let's protect the dog tooth cat snake because every piece of wildlife matters.